the absolutely best thing when it comes to perch fishing is the huge variety of lures and techniques that can be used to catch them. So in this video we are gonna go through no less than 12 different lures that can be used to catch them. Well, with that said, good morning everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm Pontus Sjölund and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Today we're not only going to be talking, we're also going to mix things up with a bit of fishing. We're in my home lake here in the Stockholm area and uh, well, I'm not expecting any super fishing, but we have the chance to catch fish at least. So, well, let's uh, get rigged up and do this. Well, rigged up and rigged up, we already are. Look at this. Well, let's uh, jump straight into the lures and uh, well, let's make this one the first lure, or actually we should say lure type. All these lures that I'm talking about, that's more about the lure type than the actual brand or model or anything like that. Most of these lure types can be found from basically any fishing manufacturer. I'm gonna name drop a few of my favorites within each category, as well as like when, where and how to use them, even though that also varies a lot depending on, you know, who, who you're asking, where you're fishing and, you know, a, a thousand different things. So all these things that I'm saying, don't take them for 100% truths like These are the 12 only official classifications of perch lures in the European Union. No, that's not a thing. These are just, you know, my ideas of how I would classify perch lures uh, into 12 different sections. There are subcategories. You could probably find like 20 different lure types if you wanted to. But I think this 12 is a good balance, like, you know, not going too much in, in depth, but still. Uh, you know, getting a good variety. At the end of this video, I'm gonna link to bundles with all these 12 different lure types included, one for muddy water and one for clear water. And basically all these lures that I'm gonna show can be found in the Canary Goddess e-commerce. With that said, let's move on to perch fishing lure type number one, which is top water lures, which actually is a huge category. We have poppers, we have walk the dog, we have ploppers like this one. We have the riser bait, we have frogs. We have a whole bunch of different top water lures, but uh, we're just gonna bunch them all together into one. The reason why this is uh, number one on my list is because uh, right now it's summer, it's early morning, and now this is my favorite lure type. Not necessarily in terms of catching, but definitely in terms of, you know, cool takes, awesome action. So any chance I get to throw these top water lures, I definitely take it. Really comes into play early mornings like this in many waters uh, where for some reason predatory fish seem to be more active and hunting from the surface. Oh, pause music. That's just awesome. Before moving on to the next lure type, I'm just gonna walk a few meters, change place slightly so that I can throw this one inside some weed. Such a beautiful morning. Oh man. We don't need to be catching any fish today to make this a successful session. Well, just because we can, I'm gonna change to another topwater lure to show you some variety. So this was the Berkeley Shoppo, and here we have the Salmo Rattling Pop, seven centimeters. And I'd say this is definitely the most, uh, you know, well-known subcategory of topwater lures, the, the classic popper, which has a chopped off nose, basically. So that it splashes some water when you twitch it like this. Makes a lot of noise in the water, uh, which makes it easy for the fish to find them. If you would only go for one type of top water lure, I would go for a popper, for sure. Listen to that, super cool. One more cast before moving on. This is just so exciting. You never know when someone will come and explode on that lure. Not very uncommon for a pike to show up to the party, which is a lot of fun also, especially on top water lures. And uh, that's why it's a good idea, I think, to be using a wire leader when fishing with uh, these lures. That goes for many of the lures that I'm gonna talk about, but uh, you know, using a wire leader like this, this is a pre-made one from darts, uh, which makes it really easy. No need to make them yourself. So I think that's a thing to keep in mind if you're fishing in uh, waters with lots of uh, pike. We don't wanna be piercing them whoa, with uh, lures all over the mouth. That's not fair. But now we've been rambling for a long time about uh, the top waters. We haven't been catching any fish. So let's move on to lure type number two, which actually is my number one for catching fish. If I could only be using one all year round, all waters, all everything, then it would be the paddle tail soft bait. And well, these have really nice uh, action in the water. Yes. When you pause them, they paddle on the way down, which makes it, you know, they are fishing from the second they hit the water, imitating a small bait fish, which is the main food in most waters. Same thing here, it comes in a thousand different versions. This is the flat nose mini, 
which I would say is uh, my favorite, but that's because I've been using it the most. It's a rather big lure for, for a perch, uh, so especially when going for good sized uh, fish. This is uh, numero uno. Super simple to fish. Like I said, they are fishing from the moment they hit the water to when they leave the water. The general idea is to simply throw it out, let it sink all the way down to the bottom, and then you're gonna bounce it off. And also it swims up and pedals on the way down, and you twitch it up and let it sink again, doing this kind of jigsaw presentation on the bottom. Usually works really well. I rigged this one on a very traditional 4.0 jig head from Spro. Very classic way to rig it, but again, within this uh, category of, of uh, lures only, there are like perhaps something like uh, 20 different ways to rig it, different type of, you know, Texas rigging, Carolina rigging, drop shotting, offset rigging, and well, you name it. That's a whole different video. Well, let's move on to lure type number three, which is another favorite of mine. And uh, we are, of course, talking about the curly tail soft bait. Very similar to the paddle tail uh, soft baits in terms of, you know, all the uh, possibilities to rig it differently, fishing it on different depths and rigs and so on. This is the flat nose uh, baby dragon, which is one of my favorites. We also have, uh, well, this one, the Nettel Mini, another favorite of mine. Basically everything I said about the paddle tail soft baits is also true for these. The only different thing is the tail design and uh, the swimming action. If I could only fish with one lure type for all year round all waters I would choose a paddle tail but if I could only use a one lure type for cold water fishing I would go with the, the curly tails because uh, you can just fish them so freaking slow and they work all the time on the drop you can just drag them on the bottom basically they can also imitate bait fish depending on the color you're using and how you're fishing it but it could also be a worm or a crayfish on the bottom if you drag it slowly or you know just something yummy for the perch to eat so another very good lure type to have in your tackle box uh, now the sun is actually coming up a little bit so uh, well Costa on. I usually get a few questions on every video what glasses I'm using and these are the Costa Rinken. Really like them. You know, you can use them on the beach or when driving your car or when hanging out with normal people as well. Uh, while they're also being, you know, polarized, you can see really well down into the water. So Costa Rinken, very good stuff. Well, this is not supposed to be a one hour video, so let's move on to lure type number four. Well, so far we've been talking about the very classic lure types that most of you probably are familiar with. So let's move on to a more, you know, new school, at least here in Europe, type of perch fishing lure. And that is the Shatterbait, or bladed jig, as they're also called. Simply a jig with a blade in the front, creating a really cool movement. I actually caught my personal best perch last year on uh, this exact Shatterbait, the Gunky Boomer. Stunning, stunning, stunning fish caught here in Stockholm in a body of water with super high fishing pressure. And I think the secret to this lure type is, you know, of course it swims well and has really nice movement, makes a lot of vibrations. But I think the key in many waters is the fact that uh, well the perch have not seen anything like this it has a very unique and cool swimming action you can fish them in many different ways you can give it a straight retrieve and the blade and the silicon skirts and the tail is gonna do all the work for you or you can fish it like a jig let it go down to the bottom uh, let it sink let the tail work its magic on the way down and basically jump it on the on the bottom uh, it's also since it only has one single hook uh, facing upwards and we have that big blade in the front, it's uh, rather weedless, so you can fish it through some quite heavy grass. It's not like an offset rigged soft bait, I would say, but not far from. So casts like this is no problem at all. If you haven't tried this lure type, it's uh, highly recommended, both when it comes to perch, but also pike. I had, uh, for both these species, I had some of my best moments in uh, 2019 using shadow baits. We could also see in last edition of Perch Pro, many teams were using this lure type with uh, great success. One thing worth trying with this lure type is not to get stuck. Uh, one personal best lure. I don't want to lose you. Good tip when getting stuck to something like this is not to pull too hard from the direction where you got stuck. Try to get from the other angle and like twitch it back. Come on! <laughs> of all the lures, we had snagged with my all-time personal best lure. This is not supposed to happen. No. No, 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 no.
Ah. <laughs> oh, that sucks so bad. Well, red and black gunky boomer, you will always be remembered. Oh, as you can see, I don't need more fishing lures, but that exact one, well, I can just get a new one, of course, but that one had a special place in my heart. But let's just uh, move on in life and uh, go over to fishing lure type numero cinco. I'm sure I'm not alone in this uh, pain. So please guys, help me out through this pain by telling your stories of when you lost your personal best lure in a painful way. And that way maybe I can overcome this uh, event a little bit faster. I was gonna tie on a new leader, and this is the one that I'm using mostly when perch fishing. The micro leader, nice snap, eight kilo breaking strength from darts. All right, all right. We are ready to move on in life, somehow at least. Since the last one was quite uh, new school, let's go back in time a lot and talk about the very classic spinner. One of the absolutely most classic lure types for perch fishing, but they still work like a charm. I would even go as far as saying it that they are extremely underrated. Uh, you know, in today's YouTube scene and social media, you don't see a lot about these old classic good ones, but they are still working like magic. This is the Abu Garcia Reflex, which is uh, the one I've been using the most in my life. Not too much lately, but this is basically how I started fishing many years ago using spinners for perch. Of course, also works well for uh, pike, as well as uh, trout, rainbow trout, and all these different fish. There's uh, not much more to say about this uh, lure type, but uh, makes a lot of vibrations in the water, very easy to fish, no need for any fancy, you know, retrieve uh, techniques or anything. You just cast it out, reel it in, and this one makes all the work for you. Since it has a treble hook, you know, as far back as you can go on this lure, it has very good hookup ratio combined with the straight retrieve. There's not much going on. The fish, when the fish bites, they will get stuck. So if you bring your kids fishing or their partner or cousin or whatever, this is a good lure to get in their hands. Not the best for fishing in heavy weeds since we have this treble hook. And uh, that's why we have lure type number six which is uh, quite similar to this one, but not really. It deserves its own category in this video. And it is the spinner bait. Look at that. Looks like something from a Christmas tree. And uh, well, it will give you many nice, uh, maybe not Christmas, but well, many nice surprises when fishing. Uh, the idea is that uh, this part of the lure imitates a fish chasing these two little fish up here, or maybe imitating a school of fish or something like that. And at least the idea or, or the saying is that perch is a very jealous fish. So when they see this one chasing these guys, they're like, oh, I want that, that looks fun. This is a 10 gram version from Fox Rage. And I'm gonna be honest and say that I haven't been using this lure type a lot for perch, uh, but uh, more, more for pike actually, larger versions. I, I think it combines the best stuff from the classic spinner with the vibrations and everything, but it also works great for fishing in heavy cover since we have only one single hook and this uh, little arm here protecting the hook point from any weeds. So uh, places like this or, or when you have heavy weeds in the water, you can just cast this one out uh, and fish it right through it. Another good thing is that a normal spinner, when you stop it, it just poop, sinks flat down to the bottom, doesn't do anything. But uh, a spinner bait, when you stop it, it goes down with a blade rotating. There is a name for that technique. I think it's called the, like the helicopter technique or something like that. Which uh, I would say that this makes it, uh, you know, even better than a normal spinner because it fishes all the time in the water. Well, we're not catching them, so let's uh, move on. Now the sun is really up. I mean, is there anything more beautiful? Add a fish to this and we're all set. Oh man. So let's move on to their type number seven, if I find it, because I only have one. I think I saw it here somewhere. 
And this is, I'm not sure if that's the official name, but I call them tail spinners. This is the Nace Blade Runner. And it looks like this. It's basically a piece of metal with a tail in the back like this, which uh, makes this kind of a hybrid between a spinner or a well, blade bait. Well, you can also fish it like a jig or whatever. Kind of a new school type of lure, but has became really popular the last few years. Fish this uh, all the time in the water. When you pause it, it uh, sinks down with the blade still rotating. And when you retrieve it, it's also spinning together with the body, doing a little bit of wiggling and so on. Nothing can go wrong. Perfect for warm water fishing or to get a reaction bite. Oh man, this is a nice little lure. We are slowly running out of time, so I thought that we would go through the remaining lure types a little bit faster. So I've lined them all up here and uh, well, let's uh, go through the remaining ones. Moving on to lure type number eight. And here we have something called blade baits or vibration baits. Uh, they can be metal like this Astro Vibe from Strike Pro, or they can be plastic, uh, have rattles and stuff. But the basic idea is that these guys are creating a lot of vibrations and heavy wobbling in the water from this uh, attachment position on the sort of back of the, of the fish. Super good lure for fi perch fishing in warm water. Uh, we've seen them a lot in Perch Pro over the years with great success. You can fish them all the way down on the bottom or in the midwater, but uh, really good lure type for fishing in uh, warm water. Okay, lure type number nine. And this one is uh, crankbaits. Basically, you know, a wobbler or whatever you want to call it. A plastic or wooden lure with a lip uh, that creates swimming action. Moves really well in the water, super easy to fish. Comes with different, you know, lip designs depending on how deep you want them to run, how tight the action is gonna be. For me, it's a warm water lure, mainly. Makes a lot of vibrations. Many of them have rattles inside, which uh, makes it really easy for the fish to find them. Most of them, not all, but most of them are floating or slow floating so a good thing is uh, you know when fishing like over structures or something you can reel it down so that it bounces on the bottom and you can slowly then float up again making a long and nice spin stop it can be super effective sometimes it's a good idea to keep your eyes on the line when you let them float because that's when many of the bites will come or just yes, straight retrieve also works this is the strike pro cranky x famous from uh, perch pro the last few seasons used by catch with care but Ooh, perch chasing. But again, like most of these other lure types, there are a whole bunch of brands making these. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. That's why they call me the professional amateur angler. I'm not a pro at all, which actually leads me <laughs> while untangling this. Let me explain that uh, I'm sure that many of you have got more perch and bigger perch and are fishing way more than I do and uh, are actually better anglers so i'm not at all even though i'm giving these tips and you know talking about these things i don't see myself as a pro but what i've done is that i've filmed and produced like what is it six seasons of perch pro by now and spent a lot of time with many skilled perch anglers so this is like boiled down from many skilled perch anglers that i've filmed with and that i know uh, anyhow let's move on to the next lure type which is uh, well it, it is a subcategory of the crankbait but i think it's worth its own classification in this film and it's uh, the jerk bait not jerk as in you know buster jerk this uh, lipless design glider side to side uh, this is what the uh, americans are talking about when talking about uh, jerk baits it's pretty much a crank bait but it's designed to be twitched in water uh, many of them have kind of a side to side movement while also flashing and so on so it's uh, intended to be fished much more actively this is the Finder Jerk 110 from Molix. Very nice one. Many of these jerkbait style crankbaits are suspending, which makes them perfect for, you know, making long stops, fishing both in warm water, but also cold water fishing because they are suspending. You can fish them very slow and they can trigger super hard takes even in the cold water. Like I said, very similar to the crankbaits, but I think it's worth its own uh, category in here. So super nice one. Let's move on to lure type number 11. All right, lure type number 11, getting close to the end here. And that is creature baits of different kinds. The crawfish, crayfish, lizards, you name it. We're talking about kind of realistic uh, imitations of crayfish and other creatures that are also living in the water. 
which are high up on the menu for perch in many waters. I've had some of my very best perch fishing experiences with this lure type, especially in freshwater lakes and rivers, of course, because that's where you have crayfish, but also in the archipelago of the Baltic Sea, where you don't have crayfish, they work great as well. Because, you know, they have lots of nice movement in the water, uh, lots of stuff happening, and the perch are curious and, you know, they just can't resist to give it a taste. In terms of specific models, this is the Creature Cray by Emwar. We also have the Monkey Craw, which has a more swimming action in the water. Um, you know, we have the Boogie Craw. Berkeley has a whole lineup of creature baits, the Rocket Craw. The Shiggy Craw, Shiggy Bug, and uh, well, basically a whole shitload of different cool stuff like this. Very popular lure type for bass in the States. I, I would say the number one most used uh, lure type in, in the States for bass. Correct me if I'm wrong, but these are working really good, especially fished close to the bottom. Rocky structure tends to attract the, the crayfish, and of course that means that the perch, sander and pike are there hunting. In terms of times of the year, I've had the best fishing during summer, especially late summer. My friend Martin Vosberg has taught me that uh, during summer evenings, late summer evenings, for some reason the crayfish are more active and uh, the perch are feeding on them more specifically. So you can go fishing in the middle of the night in uh, pitch black conditions and have great perch fishing with these uh, baits. But also I, I was out with Tobias Fransdam from uh, Aubrey Garcia this winter in December and we had some really nice fishing you know in the middle of the winter. You can check that video out up here in the right corner. But this is a lure type I would never go fishing without because they are such different in profile and appearance in the water and I've had a few days where I had great fishing with these, but like not a single bite on a paddle tail soft bait or hard bait or anything. So creature baits is a must have. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the end. Almost, we have one lure type left. If you have stayed with me for this long, well, thanks a lot. Let's wrap this up by talking about the last lure type. And uh, I call them drop shot lures, kind of non-action uh, soft baits designed for drop shot fishing. If you're not familiar with the drop shot technique, it looks like this. Uh, you can buy these ready-made rigs, again from darts, uh, or you can tie them yourself. It's quite easy, but you need a different setup than uh, these other lures. And what you need is a piece of fluorocarbon, like this, with a hook on it, where you will attach your lure. So, small little hook, and then you just attach your drop shot lure like this. Then you attach a sinker somewhere here on the leader. You can put the sinker close to, to your lure or you can put it quite far off depending on how close to the bottom you want to fish your drop shot lure. But this can be a very effective technique when for example you know that the fish are in a certain area but they're very picky. Then you can cast this one out. You let the sinker go down all the way to the bottom and then you can fish this one very very statically. You just uh, put tension on the line and then you can basically let, let it hang there. Just wiggle a little bit with your rod tip jump it a little bit, wait for that bite, jump it a little bit and fish very statically. Perfect for cold water fishing or when you know that the fish are in a small area but they're not biting. You can do this with basically any kind of soft plastic as long as it's quite, uh, you don't want the largest paddle baits I would say, something that moves in low speed. Curly tails, uh, even some of these creature baits can be perfect for drop shots but there are some of them that are designed for this type of fishing like the monkey fry from MWAR, perfect for this kind of fishing. You've seen my colleagues uh, Tobias and Edwin rip some uh, huge perch lips with this little guy. We have a gunslinger from Catch With Care, jig worm. Basically any kind of worm is perfect for this bottom hopper or vista worm or whichever you want to use. Since you have this finesse presentation you can give them small vibrations and decide on which distance from the bottom you want to fish them. That makes this presentation very versatile that I would never go fishing without, especially in cold water. Well, those were the 12 lures or lure types that I use for perch fishing. Thank you so much for following along all the way to the end. I have a feeling that this turned into a longer video than I first intended, but I hope at least I managed to give you some bit of inspiration or learned you something at least. I have made two bundles with all these lure types in the Canary Goddess e-commerce. So if you're a beginner angler and feel like you want a starter kit with different lure types that will cover, you know, any situation, you can find these bundles in the upper right corner. The two rod and reel combos I've been using is uh, first off the bait casting one is the Revo X combo from Aubrey Garcia which is a uh, you know you can buy it ready as it is uh, with rod and reel for a very good price uh, I think it's around 200 euros for this uh, rod and uh, reel I would say this is the most price worthy value for money 
rod I've ever used. So if you're looking to get yourself a new rod and reel combo bait casting for a perch, I would highly recommend this one. This is the seven foot version up to 30 grams, which I think is perfect for perch fishing. If you have a fishing shop of your own and want to support us by selling our lures, the flat nose shad, baby dragon, all the M war stuff, feel free to send an email to sarah at canargalis.se and she will help you out. And that way you can support our channel. This is a color I designed in the photo fish tool. If you're not familiar with that, you can go online and design your own colors of uh, some of our alerts. However you want them, we will produce them for you and ship them directly home to you. So that's actually a really cool thing that we launched this year. But uh, well, that was it for me for this time. Thank you so much for watching again. Make sure to subscribe and all that. Like the video, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you your favorite perch fishing lure or lure type or how would you classify these lures. So that was it for this time. See you in the next video.